Hey there folks, so I'm kicking off my second week of Challenge Cup for Wi-Fi Battles. Uh, my opponent today is Kote1616PB, who is the only person who I have successfully uh, had a CC for Wi-Fi battle with that I found through the Smog on Wi-Fi Battle Finder. You know, every so often I'll go onto the Smog on Wi-Fi Battle Finder and say that I want to do a Challenge Cup battle. And inevitably I get a few people who challenge me and are like, Hey, you want to do OU? And I'm like, no, I don't want to do OU. If I wanted to do OU, then I would have said I wanted to do OU. And I'm like, well, can you do Challenge Cup? And they're like, oh, uh, I don't know. And they're like, and then they're like, what's Challenge Cup? And I'm like, have you ever played Challenge Cup on PO? And they're like, no. It's like, okay, well, read through this head. And they're like, oh. That seems too difficult. Can't we just do it, OU? you? like, if I wanted to do OU, then I would have said I wanted to do OU. What is wrong with you people? Ah! So anyway, there I was on the random Wi-Fi battle finder. Um, and, not random Wi-Fi. Oh, anyway, I was on the battle finder waiting to find a challenge cup battle. And this guy, you know, accepts my challenge. He's like the third person of the day. I've never seen his name before. Apparently he's a Pokemosh pit person. How was I supposed to know that? I don't really watch Pokemosh pit that often to be completely honest. But so he's like, yeah. And I'm like, okay, you know what Challenge Cup is, right? And he's like, of course I know what Challenge Cup is. And he's all indignant and all offended and shit. And I'm like, okay, hey, no mean, this is like the third person today who was like, let's do a battle and didn't know what Challenge Cup was. So it pissed me off. And, you know, this guy was really, really upset that, you know, I would accuse him of not knowing what he was talking about. Well, la di da Anyway, we had this battle and let me just get right down to it. So yeah, um, he makes his team, we make our team. I have a Rayquaza lead, and that's like, yes, I'm just, that's so awesome, and he has a Krogunk, and I'm expecting him to switch, I guess. Uh, I go for the Echoed Voice, uh, just thinking that I would be able to boost my stats. He goes for the Super Fang, I'm like, crap, that just sucks. Um, and the Echoed Voice is just not boosting enough. I am going to manage to take out this Krogunk, but I'm, I'm down to 64 HP, and because my Rayquaza is at level 63, it's really not going to, you know, outspeed too many Pokemon. Uh, I do not manage to take out this Deerling, which sucks because that means I'm going to have to switch out or lose my Rayquaza, and I don't want to lose my Rayquaza just yet because it has the Earthquake, and, you know, if he's got a Steel, I need someone with Earthquake. So I send out my Vanillish. <laughs> this is hilarious. I go for the Powder Snow and get a kill. One of the weakest attacks in the game and I get a kill. With That's just awesome. That's almost more epic than a Tackle kill. Anyway, I go ahead and uh, swagger his... Uh, Vaporeon, he breaks through the confusion and goes for the fake tears. That's not great. He withdraws Vaporeon, not wanting to, you know, hit himself in the confusion. I get off a free light screen as he sends out his Vibrava. Um, I, am, I was expecting him to carry a fire type move, maybe, and so that's why I sent in my uh, Houndoom. Unfortunately, he went for the Outrage, which blows. He's going to take me out with another Outrage. And that is my a dead hound doom, and that really, really sucks. Now I send in a pan sage, and I decide I'm gonna be kind of cheap because I've only got one shot, and that's you know double teaming. Yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna go for the double team. As he sends in his registeel, I'm like, well, I don't actually have anything to hit this registeel with. And you might wonder why I went for the second, um, the second uh, double teams and the third double team. I mean, after a while, you know, it's diminishing returns and whatnot. I am banded. Yeah, I didn't look at that before I actually selected that move, so that was stupid of me. I'm forced to twitch out because he actually has the lock-on. Lock-on, rock climb, already this is a really good Registeel set, I've got to say. So I have Home Claws, I'm like, yeah, that's awesome. He has the Charge Beam! Like, seriously? You have the Charge Beam? Is that really necessary? He gets a crit. No idea if that crit mattered. I'm not going to try to figure out some kind of calcs with Challenge Cup. I go for the Earthquake, just hoping that I can take out this Registeel. That doesn't even do half. And, you know, his Charge Beam doesn't even have the decency to miss. And this is like this is going south extremely fast. I go for the Swagger using my Vanilla. I'm just hoping that it starts hitting himself in the confusion. That's my only shot here. Uh, he goes for the Charge Beam, and he gets the Charge Beam. Um, not really doing too much to me. That's nice. I'm going to set up a char uh, Light Screen so that his um, moves will do even less. Uh, he goes for yet another charge beam. He's not hitting himself in the confusion, and I'm like, beep, flip, curse word my life. Um, anyway, I get the freeze hacks. He thaws out immediately. So much for hacks. He goes ahead and rock climbs. He misses. That's nice. Go for another powder snow. It's my only attacking move. He snaps out of the confusion, goes for the rock climb. Did he even hit himself once in the confusion? I wasn't paying attention. Pan Sage is now back out, my banded Pan Sage, and I do not actually have a physical move. The best I can do is round. Yeah, this set sucks. 
So, um, <laughs> you know, I programmed the thing. You'd think it would be nicer to me. Um, but his Red of Steel is completely destroying my entire freaking team. Oh, yeah, and he gets confused. Uh, he gets my Pants Age confused. Was that really necessary? Was it? Was it? <sighs> Anyway, yeah, can you tell I'm a little cranky? He withdraws his Registeel just to rub it in my face, goes up to Vibe Brava, I hit myself in the confusion, um, I snap out of the confusion, luckily, go for the round, but it's really not going to do that much to the Vibe Brava, and he has the balls to go for a Focus Energy! I mean, are you s Come on! Come on! Focus Energy, in case you've never seen it in battle, increases your critical hit rate, so now he has an increased chance of getting a critical hit, uh, and that's just like... <sighs> Okay, so now he's confused. Go for the Mega Punch. Die, Vibrava. He survives on like 2 HP. Now hit yourself in the confusion. No, he breaks through, and I'm like, I can survive, right? No, he gets a crit, and that's the end of the game. So, great game, Kote1616 BB, whatever. So long, folks.